hat tip to Joachim Favre, who pointed out in a previous video that setting the first derivative to zero of a function is almost enough information to tell us whether we have a maximum, a minimum, or neither at that point on the function. Let's do what he suggests and create a sign table for the function from that previous video. We will also pretend that I calculated the zero correctly. Our points of interest are where x equals positive or negative the square root of 2 over 2. That's where the first derivative is 0 and the tangent line to the function is horizontal. We'll compute the value of the first derivative at some convenient negative value for x to the left of negative root 2 over 2. And we find that it is positive. Next, we compute the value between the negative root 2 over 2 and positive root 2 over 2. Let's choose 0 because that's nice and easy to work with. And we get a negative value. Finally, to the right of root 2 over 2, so some convenient positive value, we find that the first derivative is going to be positive. Since the first derivative function is continuous, it flows smoothly from positive to negative to positive, passing through zero each time. That tells us that when x equals negative root 2 over 2, we're looking at a local maximum. And when x equals positive root 2 over 2, we're looking at a local minimum. The sign table gives us some more information. Another source of that information pointed out by Math Avengers in his comment is to take the second derivative. We'll look at both of those methods more carefully in future videos. Until then, Bob continues to be your uncle. Check out the full playlist plus whatever other video is there and cheers.